Yeah, it's fun, man. It's fun dating, you know, dating again and having somebody normal. You know, I went through a lot of, a lot of bad dates. And uh, I didn't really, do, I love how he laughed at that part. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> you loser. <laughs> it's, it's great, because like, I didn't do any, I never left the house when I was younger. I just stayed home and I played original Nintendo all the time. My parents thought something was wrong with me, which there is, but you know, that's a whole other story. But I don't know, if anybody play original Nintendo growing up? Anybody clap it up if you did? Yeah, all right, so you guys know. So this is, this is a true story, and um, I played a lot of original Nintendo, and one of my favorite games of all time was Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I thought it was the best game. Yeah, yeah, give it up for Mike Tyson, I guess. <laughs> it's a great game. Your, your character, your name is Little Mac. You're fighting all these fictitious boxers that would, would have names that would all be canceled today, and it's... <laughs> It's still like a classic game, and your last opponent is Mike Tyson, and you have to fight him and beat him, and he's one of the hardest boxers on the whole game. A lot of people could never beat him. I didn't do anything except stay in my parents' basement that I actually beat him, and I, at one point, I actually TKO'd him, which is in the first round, which is like an incredible feat. So you can, I'll give autographs after the show. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> like my only uh, credit. And uh, so I was on a break from work and I walked into this GameStop and they had an original Nintendo set up and I had Mike Tyson's Punch-Out set up. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. So I go right up to it and I remember the code to go right to Mike Tyson. So I typed it in, it was like 007-373-5963. Tyson comes up, right? I'm like, this is gonna be great. And I feel somebody kind of walking like behind me and I look over my shoulder and there's like this older black gentleman. He's like, you, go, you gonna fight Tyson? I was like, yeah. He, can you beat him? I was like, yeah. He goes, I can never beat him. <laughs> I tried so hard. This would make my entire year if you could beat him right now. I have no idea why I said what I said next, but I looked at him and I go, well, get ready, because I'm about to mess him up. <laughs> the game starts, I get in my position, I'm bobbing, weaving, like nothing's changed, I'm dodging, dodging, weaving, get the star, uppercut, boom, Tyson goes down, he grabs his head, he's like, oh, 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 and I go back to the fight, bobbing, weaving, ducking, getting out of the way, get the second star, uppercut. Tyson goes down for the second time. He pulls out his phone and he gets on it and calls his cousin. He goes, Leroy, <laughs> get down to the GameStop. I'm gonna call it the Boulevard. There's a white boy down here about to beat Tyson. <laughs> it's like the video game, get down here now. Like about 15 seconds go by. It was so quick, you hear, Aah! and we look out the window, a car has now pulled up almost onto the curb, and in runs his cousin, and he sees what's happening. He's like, oh, man, oh, man. And the original guy is now behind me, massaging my back. And I <laughs> didn't think that was weird at all, because I'm like, I am Little Mac. I have got to beat Tyson for the people right now, right? So I went in, I'm bobbing, I'm weaving, I'm bobbing, I'm weaving. Tyson does some weird stutter step move that I didn't recognize, and just in the nick of time, I get out of the way, they gasp, they're like, <gasps> I hit Tyson in the stomach at the last star, uppercut, boom, Tyson goes down, TKO, they go crazy. The guy is like a dog with zoomies, just running around the store, just yelling, he's like, white boy just beat Tyson! White boy just beat Tyson! And I feel something from behind. The original guy is behind me, and he's picked me up off the ground. And I'm doing like a victory lap around the store of GameStop. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. What a beautiful story that I've just let this man live like his childhood dream and be nostalgic and beat the guy he could never beat. Such a beautiful moment. And I thought about ruining it for like a split second. I did it, but I almost bit his ear off. But I didn't do that. And uh, you guys have been great. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Have a good night.